There we have it. Welcome in Jeff Dubroff with you. Week nine of the high school football season here. A mix of playoff games, a mix of regular season games, and we have to start with the biggest one of them all. District title matchup between rivals ADM and North Polk. Tigers beat the Comets twice last year. One of those games in the playoffs, knocking North Polk out of it. You can bet the Comets looking for revenge this year. North Polk going to get on the board first in this game. In the red zone, knocking on the door, Isaac Zosky. Swing pass to Carter Van Brocklin plowing his way in. Early 7-0 lead. The Comets would go up 14-0. Second quarter to go. ADM quarterback Aiden Flora back from injury. Looking better than ever. That's a dime right there to Ryland Stein Smith. Tigers in business in the red zone. Same drive. Flora dual threat as it gets. Read option keeper walks right in. 14-7. The score, but North Polk just kept on pounding. Nathan Feldman this time finding the end zone. Comets would take a 21-7 lead into the break. Let's go second half now, third quarter. First drive for ADM, Aiden Flora. Brody Figgins, corner of the end zone. Touchdown, here come the Tigers, 21-14. Still third quarter. North Polk continues to respond. Nathan Feldman once again finding the big box, 28-14. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Tigers in the red zone really need a touchdown. They're going to go QB sneak or QB keeper rather. And they're going to go fourth and short here. It's a game of inches. And they're not going to or they're going to get it. Have to settle for a field goal. 28 17 after that. Tigers now desperately needing a touchdown. Six minutes left fourth quarter. That ball caught. Oh boy, but it's poked free by Nathan Feldman forcing the fumble and that'll do it. Comets run out the clock from there. 28 17 is your final. They get revenge. You know, it was a great team win. Everyone hit on details, special teams, offense, defense, everything. Defense put us in position to make plays. You know, special teams did the same. It was a great team win. Huge game there. Can't wait to see both those teams in the playoff. That game in 4A did not decide who made the playoffs, though. Both those teams are safe. This one we're about to talk about may have. 14 Pella at number 12 Gilbert. Look at Julie Lewis, the twirler with fire. Pella starting this game down 16 nothing. But just before the half, here comes Luke Hardman. Gets the Dutch back close with a three yard touchdown run. It would end up being 16 13 at the half. Pella would not stop with Hardman calling his own number, taking it down to the three. And he's done all the work just to get there. Let him finish it. Reward the man. Another power dive, 20 to 16. He would score five touchdowns in the night. DCG, or excuse me, Pella wins 33-23. Now let's talk about DCG. They're on the road taking on Lewis Central. Number one team, number two team, excuse me, in 4A. And there's a reason why. They're up 14-0. Picked off here, Curtis Witt. Look at him go all the way down into the red zone. It sets up a Candom Cross touchdown. It was all Lewis Central in this one. Final score from Council Bluffs, 28 to seven. Class 4A, let's show some scores. Ballard defeating Boone, 62-15. And then Newton defeating Hoover, 34-8. Norwalk is in danger of falling out with their loss to Glenwood. Final score 53-35. The final RPI in the list of qualifiers being sorted out as we speak. Probably not going to find out by the time this show ends, but we're definitely going to know later in the night around maybe 11, let's say. Get in the game in 5A now. Centennial at 14. Win and you're in. Urbandale needs a win and some help. Centennial had the ground game going early and often. First quarter, Elijah Porter Gets the ball up the middle easy. 7 nothing for Centennial. They'd continue to pile on. Porter from one yard out, it's 14 nothing. Urbandale student section trying to get their boys back in the game after a Jayhawks punt. How about some defense? Braden Calger, big stop freshman, nearly took the hand off himself, but it was just too much Centennial. Trenton Smith says, give me some time to throw the ball. 45-yard pass. That's a touchdown. Chase Shuddy on the other end of it. Final from this one. It was all Centennial, like I said, 41 to 3. Another 5A game that we had to keep our eye on. Valley taking on Marshalltown. Valley on the outside looking in, entering the night. They beat Marshalltown 42-18. And the good news for them, three teams ahead of them lost. So it's looking good for Valley. We're going to find out later. Class 3A. 
two top 10 teams. Number nine, Humboldt. Number seven, Webster City tied in their district at three and one. Humboldt starts with the ball and they would drive the length of the field. Cohen Matson, the quarterback, taking it the last three yards for the touchdown. Seven nothing Wildcats, second quarter. The Lynx would get their wing T offense moving. Jackson Cherry rumbling down the right side for 20. That's gonna get them up to the 30 or 25 yard line. Again, give this man the ball. Oh, ghosts and ghouls. That's the trend right now. I've seen dogs wearing the, the sheet over their head. Jackson Cherry plows in. Final score, Webster City takes it 26 to seven. Still have a lot more to get to on this football Friday night. Talking wild card game. Shannon Earhart gonna join me in just a bit. Got that game and more playoff action from eight man and one A. That's the Van Meter student section. Big night. We'll get to them in a bit, but Shannon, wild card game. Yes, Jeff. I had a great time with the wild card game. I actually met some friends. Now, this is John, Mark, and Darren. Crazy story about them, actually. They coached at Grandview together for 15 years. They all retired together three years ago. <laughs> and every Friday since, they've been at a small town football game, whether it's eight man, class A, Love 1A. That. Everywhere they go, they get a tenderloin. Smart men. <laughs> I know Smart you love men. that. I know love you love that. Lines. And it's the playoffs. And they said today's was one of the best. Round one here, Glidden Ralston and Exira. That's where these men were, Exira. Two teams that actually fell short of the playoffs last season. Exira, the home team. Glidden Ralston in the red zone here. Colby Wallace in shotgun. Quarterback keeper punches it in for his 25th touchdown of the season. Pretty incredible stat from him. Exira QB here now. Jameson Kilworth, a little play action. That's Cash Engarten, nothing but real estate. Takes it to the house, or should I say mansion? He's cashing in, cash, rolling in it. It's tied eight to eight. Spartans force a fumble and get the ball back. Kilworth flips it to Cash again. 
Makes the first man miss, dropping defenders left and right. Watch this. Spin move stays on his feet. He is your captain now. He's in control. He does short, fall just short of the goal line, but Kilworth, Kilworth punches it in. Exira sends Glidden Ralston packing 30 to 16 to advance to the second round of the playoffs. More eight man football, Southeast Warren at Cam. On the first play of the second half, Cam has the ball. Chase Speaker hands it to Brody Paulson. Oop. You don't even have to look. He's bye bye. way gone. Bye bye. Way gone, another playoff game. Cam forces a three and out and gets the ball back. And this is their second drive of the half. Speaker passes this time. Colin Bauer emerges with it. See ya later. Cam beats the brakes off Southeast Warren 75 to 12. My goodness. Well, Class 1A playoffs, Pleasantville, West Branch. Pleasantville, great drive here. Braylon Bingham rolling left. Got nothing to do but heave it up. And look at this on the other end. <laughs> Damon Leerhoff comes down with it. Same drive, Bingham rolling right. How about he finds his man Yusuf Gully? Nice toe tap catch too. In the red zone, they finally punch it in to Caleb Cook. Nothing more though, 35-20 is the final. Let's go class 2A playoffs, Van Meter beginning its quest for a third straight state title, taking on Albia. Didn't take long for the Bulldogs to get this thing going. Senior Ben Gordon hitting the hole, and there he goes. House call, Bulldogs. Strike first on a long touchdown run, seven nothing. And now let's get a little touchdown the hard way. Austin Baumhover, the quarterback, shaking things off like it's his protein shakes. One, two, three, <laughs> almost four. Bye-bye, all Bulldogs 56-7. Fan of the night, coming up next. We all know it's spooky season, Halloween, one of the best holidays out there. These kids went all in. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Uh, big game, the Pope, and then Jason from Friday the 13th. <laughs> Those go well.
all standing next to each other. How Not, that? They don't really go well <laughs> together. Uh, fan of the night, congratulations to those. Really quickly, Regina defeated EBF tonight 48 to 20 in uh, Class 1A. For Shannon Earhart, I'm Jeff Dubroff. Y'all have a safe weekend, and we'll see you next week.